Hello, doers, and welcome to Inventory. Our furniture company, Stealthy Wood, is expanding fast. With tons of products to manage, we need a robust inventory system that keeps us organized. From tracking stock to storing incoming products, so today I'm gonna to introduce you to Odoo Inventory by configuring our first products and organizing them within our warehouse. So no chicha, let's dive right into that database. So before we can manage inventory, let's set up a product inside of Odoo. So let's select products and products up at the very top. So if this happens to be your first time, you're gonna select new over here. But for me, I'm gonna click on our starred cabinet with doors. So when configuring items to be stored in the warehouse, you're going to want to set your product type over here to goods. These represent physical products like our stealthy wood furniture. Oh, and do you notice that we have track inventory over here enabled? Would you look at that? So this lets Odoo track the exact units that we happen to have over here up at the top by our smart buttons. And we're gonna get into that later on. So next, let's look at untracked products. So we're gonna select our products, breadcrumbs up at the top, and we're gonna select our screw. So you'll notice in this case, our track inventory field is unchecked. We don't track quantities or locations for this product. And this can be perfect for something that we keep in stock, but don't need exact counts for, like screws, pens, I don't have one in front of me, Tide pen maybe, coffee and all of that type of thing. If supplies run low for those, somebody will let procurement know so that we can avoid unnecessary updates. And routes are also set automatically for products where possible so that the buy route is enabled for products with the purchase checkbox that happens to be enabled as well up at the top. So products with a bill of materials, for example, are automatically assigned the manufacturer route. So up next, let's set up our storage locations for incoming products. So we're going to go to configuration up at the top and then settings. Perfect. So we're going to go to our nice little location. And that's actually the word we're gonna use for this because we need to know where our items are at. So we need to make sure that storage locations right here under warehouse is checked off. If you're just doing this for your first time after you tick it, make sure that you also hit save up at the top. All right, now let's manage storage locations by going to configuration. And this time around, we're gonna select locations. Great, spoiler alert, I'm expecting some cabinets to arrive. Since warehouse stock shelf three over here has space as shown by our nice little, um, in this case, let's see if it happens to be empty. Well, it actually is empty. I don't see a single item inside of here. All right, so let's actually go inside of here. Okay, so on this page, we see the location name and for storage locations, make sure that you also happen to have the location type here set to internal. So to learn about other types, Make sure to check out the warehouses and locations tutorial as well. And I'm gonna link that below. So while we also could use, I mean, in our case, we could use put away rules and we have those up at the very top just to automatically route incoming drawers here. We also won't cover that today. So for now, we're actually ready to start receiving products. So let's click overview up at the top left of our heading right there. And here we are at our inventory dashboard. Now picture me as your typical warehouse operations manager. Every day I check this dashboard to see what I need to do. The receipts card that we have over here shows shipments from vendors I need to organize and store. The orange bar that we have right here, well, that represents today's arrivals, while red bars are late items. Tis tisk, where are my packages? Green bars over here show future packages, which is kind of nice. Now we also have delivery orders, and these are orders that we are preparing for customers. We'll go over that in the next video about outgoing shipments. Let's kick off our day by receiving and storing products. So we're gonna click right there, 10 to receive. That's gonna be our number to receive button to bring up the list of incoming shipments. So when a purchase order, AKA a PO for my acronym lovers is confirmed inside of the purchase app, it creates a receipt here in inventory. This helps us make sure that purchased items actually arrive and are recorded properly in Odoo. So, the linked PO, if there is one, appears in the source document column that we have over here. Okay, let's pretend that I'm standing at the loading docks and I see all these incoming shipments that we happen to have over here, all of them. All right, in my case, I would pretty much just want to scan the package's barcode using the barcode app to pull up its receipt in Odoo. Since I don't have a scanner right now with me, I'm going to have to do this manually. So I'm gonna click on our starred receipt first because it looks kind of important. 
So in the receipt, the vendor's information is over here on our receive form field. Inside of our operations tab, I'm gonna verify if the received products happen to match the order. So our demand column that we have over here is the ordered amount and the quantity is what we've received. If the received amount differs, I can manually adjust the quantity field. Like in my case, let's set the, uh, the this one over here to four, boom. Now, if I do that, it's time to store the products. So we need, in our case, a destination location. We have this field right here up at the top. We're gonna set this one to, as I said earlier, shelf three, because it was empty and we've already planned that. I'm gonna do the manual save button up at the top. Now, all I need to do is move these items to shelf three. So let's pretend that you didn't hear me wrestling with cabinets and all these other things for a little bit, just trying to get them all the way over there, across the floor. <laughs> Okay, once that everything is neatly stored and we've pretended that we've done that, we can validate this and ah, a back order pop up. Since we set the receive quantities to, in this case, four, Odoo helped us track, we are missing some of those quantities. So typically, I'm going to create a back order so that, you know, in my case, we expect the missing item, but we're just showing an example today. So I'm going to select no back order. But if you're expecting the item, you'll want to select that. So after validating the receipt, clicking on our move smart button up at the top, well, this finally shows us that we've successfully moved these over to shelf three. Awesome, isn't that great? A cabinet of screws and cabinets. All right, Odoers, now that we've basically stocked our warehouse, how do we check what we have? I'm gonna go up to operations and physical inventory up at the top. Here we see our on-hand quantity column over here for products as well as their location on the far left. For example, if we scroll down, we have 500 bottles of varnish over in our warehouse stock, but they should be in the cellar or we're gonna shorten its shelf life. So pretend that I'm gonna go to the cellar and phew, would you look at that? They're actually there. Somebody probably forgot to set the destination location on the receipt to the create storage location. So fix it. We're gonna select the checkbox over here next to the varnish line and then we're going to select actions up at the top and relocate and then it's going to ask us for our location in my case i'm going to type in seller it's going to fill it in for me and the reason i'm just going to say update stock location wrong place steve okay and then confirm boom Oh, and remember the untracked screws that we received earlier? They won't appear here, even though we confirmed that we moved them in the move smart button earlier. And notice how in my case, our inventory adjustment line for shelf three shows. If you notice our cabinet with doors. If you'd like to track stock and locations for a product, make sure you tick that track inventory checkbox on the product. And there you have it, we're done. We just learned how to receive and store products as well as how to manage and track existing stock. For more about inventory, check out the next tutorial on managing outgoing shipments and customer orders, as well as the specifics about inventory adjustments. Thanks for watching, Odoers. See you next time.